Moroccan crafts are handmade with the help of traditional tools. Among the most popular involves metal engraving, an ancient art which requires a lot of experience to perfect. So much so, many of the best have been honing their skills from a very young age. I use different tools to engrave on copper, silver and gold. The process involves a complex series of steps. The first step is the drawing step, where I rely on creativity and accuracy in measurements. This is followed by the cutting stage, then comes the engraving stage, and finally comes the stage of assembling the pieces. Many local associations or guilds of artisans in this field are now making efforts to preserve and promote their craft. The main challenge is finding young people who are eager and willing to put in the long hours to learn all the subtle tricks. In this modern age, they feel there are much easier options to making money. We are proud of this traditional craft. We are now living and sell homemade objects to tourists and locals. The problem is that it has become hard to find apprentices who are patient enough to learn and develop this work. Many prefer to work at factories. In many regions across North Africa, some traditional crafts have been phased out over the years. But here in Morocco, the authorities invest in safeguarding traditional crafts. Some crafts are facing extinction. But thanks to many short-term, medium-term and long-term government projects, craftsmen continue to work. The social aspect is important in supporting craftsmen. Any client or family who decorates their house with craft objects contributes to the welfare of this sector. Then this craftsmanship is passed down to the next generation. It's not surprising the government is looking to safeguard the sector. Roughly 2 million people work in craftsmanship in some capacity ensuring it makes up about 8% of the North African country's GDP. And all the major cities, including Fez and Marrakesh, are known for specializing in at least one craft.